Since the Padres claimed Gary Sanchez off waivers, he has been different. He's been the starting catcher for them and have, has had great success actually with the team. It feels like they haven't pressured him as much as the Yankees and Twins have, and he's truly blossomed into a solid bat, uh, catcher. In this video, we're going to get into some stats, we're going to break it down, and show why Gary Sanchez is better on the Padres. First of all, let me talk about the defense. When I went to the Padres game, I get I got to saw firsthand what they are, have been doing with Sanchez. Every day before every game, the catching coach works with Sanchez on framing and blocking, which the Yankees never did. Also, I would like to note the Yankees completely changed his swing, and that's why you had so much swing and misses. The Padres are letting him use that true, fluent, Gary Sanchez swing, which has really helped him excel at the big league level. Sanchez's um, barrel rate is actually up from when he played in New York. Contact rate is way up. Uh, his slugging percentage is still very good. He still has that cannon of an arm, but the swing and miss, he, he still does that a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it's less. The Padres are really helping Sanchez turn into the catcher that he can be really max out that full potential all right now let's get into the technical side of things so really 2020 was really sanchez's worst year and that was the year the yankees really pressured him really changed everything and you could see a 36 percent k rate that's crazy um 2015 just ignore that's like he only played like 10 games but then look at 2023 and that is tied for the second lowest k rate of his career which shows you how much the Padres have really changed since he's been on the past teams, you know, Minnesota and New York. So you now see, like, they cut down on his strikeouts a bunch. They're letting him use his natural swing. They're just not you. I feel like the Yankees had an expectation for Sanchez, an idea of what they wanted him to be. And he, re he really wasn't what they, wa what they wanted, but he was still good. And the Padres are letting him be what what type of player he is. He's not going to be what the Yankees want him to be. You know, the Yankees wanted basically an MVP type player, which he's not. The Padres are basically letting him be the solid power hitting low average catcher that you see a lot of today in the MLB. The Yankees just expected him to be an MVP every year. And I think that's what went wrong.